Okay, let's talk about algebra calculators. And you can see here I'm going to cover some things that you really do need to know. Okay, so we're going to cover why you should be using them, when you should use them, and then how to use them. So uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a math teacher. I've taught uh, middle school math, high school math, and beyond. So I do a lot with math. This is uh, what I've been doing for many, many years. So you're going to get a lot of it. Um, uh, specific guidance on algebra calculators that you need to know from someone who's uh, a teacher okay you you know obviously um, if you're interested in you know wanting an algebra calculator it's a tool and there are definitely advantages but there's some disadvantages but I want to make sure that if you stick with me for this uh, video I'm going to try to make it pretty short uh, that you'll, at least you'll be aware of the pros and cons okay the good and the bad when you're looking at algebra calculators so um, if you find my teaching style something that you uh, like, I actually have a full complete uh, math learning program. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Also, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of um, uh, math videos on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you can uh, check those out if you're interested. But let's get right to this and talk about algebra calculators. And let's go to our first idea here. So why would you be wanting to use an algebra calculator? Well, a couple uh couple ideas here right so most students not all but most the majority I would say and maybe like in middle school or high school especially say high school are looking for like a shortcut and I could totally get that you're like hey you know what I don't want to do this math um, you know I just want to like plug stuff into this calculator and get my answer okay so that's understandable okay so I can understand all right you wanted to take a shortcut but oftentimes um, students will use algebra calculators because they don't really know what they're doing. So they're like, well, I don't know how to do this particular problem, so I'm just going to type it into this al algebra calculator and hope that I'm going to get the right answer. So if you're doing your homework, etc., you know, you're going to, you know, sit there, get your algebra cal calculator uh, handy, and you're going to type everything in. Uh, by the way, before we go any further, there's all types of algebra, uh, algebra calculators. There's um, a lot that are online. Um, and then you actually, in some um, scientific calculators, you know, I'm kind of trying to sketch one out here, like a TI-83 or TI-84, or scientific calculators are very advanced. You can actually perform a decent amount of al algebra calculations on here. And when we're talking about algebra calculators, we're not just talking about a calculator, right? A calculator where you, where you uh, plug in different numbers and whatnot. You're talking about something that could solve an equation, uh, do something algebraically with variables, etc. So even these calculators here, TI-83, TI-84, there's a lot to do. But again, uh, it's kind of you know, I'm going to kind of get to my next thing, how down here in a second. Okay, so we're talking about calculators. We're talking about the whole spectrum of them. There's uh, there's ones that are may, way more advanced online. But if you're walking around with one of these scientific calculators, you might be thinking, well, it's not an algebra calculator, but actually. There are, are some algebraic calcul uh, calculations you can do on these calculators, but let's uh, continue on with the video. So um, first thing is why. So you want to take a shortcut, speed up the time, but you really don't know what you're doing. I would say this is the majority of people who are <laughs> interested in using an algebra calculator, right? So I understand that, hey, look, you want to, um, you know, you want to go faster and you don't know how to do something, you're going to get a tool uh, to help you out get the answer. Well, I got, I got that, but here's the deal. If this is your reason, you got to be very careful, especially if you don't know how to do something and you're using a calculator um, to basically get an answer, but you don't know how to get the answer by yourself. This is a big problem. Okay, so I would say this is probably one of the big biggest risks, especially with the shortcut. So if you're using the calculator just to you know speed things up, you're not getting true practice. So here you're not really getting the practice that you need uh, to really understand uh, the math and the problem solving process and then if you're just basically plugging in stuff into a calculator and hopes to get right answer this is really you know this is not helping you okay it's not helping now you might say well it's helping me right now with my homework yes okay I got that maybe you you can turn something into your teacher but it's not going to help you on your test or quiz so you got to be careful right if your motivations are are you know these two things then you know you know you, you really got to be careful careful with the calculator because the calculator can really you know hurt you to be better off 
with actually have, uh, not having a calculator because you'd be forced to learn it. You wouldn't ha have no other option or you would actually have to just sit down and do the, do the, the problems as much as you may not want to. It's still going to uh, benefit you in terms of learning math. Now, the last reason here, and uh, there could be other reasons, but the last reason is to use it as a tool. And this is really the ideal kind of scenario that you're using the calculator as a tool, an assistance, right? Like something to double check your work, like, or to, you know, you can be, you know, do one prom by hand and then, you know, plug another one into the calculator and you kind of know what's going on. You think, you know how the calculator is thinking because you could generate the, the answer by yourself. So if you're using it as a tool, a calculation tool, then that's that's good okay so calculators you know for me as a math teacher they're important okay you're, they're definitely an important part of your uh, your math learning okay and especially in algebra you really do need calculators but you've got to look that look at them as a tool like a support tool not a replacement to actually do problems and you don't when you can't do them or you know you want to just kind of just replace uh, you know doing the work um, by a calculator. Now, I will say this much: once you learn the material, and let's say you're a, you know, a, a scientist or an engineer, and you know, and you could plug in and use calculators to get your answers in your profession, then that's completely different. Because like engineers, they have to learn a lot, a lot of math, but they they don't do everything by hand, like calculus or whatever. They have, you know, uh, computer programs and stuff that run, but they understand the math behind it. Okay, again, a tool especially if you're learning you got to be careful with calculators but I think I probably um, kind of harped on this enough so let's move on L listen the reason why I'm making this video is because I don't want you to you know uh, become dependent on algebra calculators that's really you know they're not going to serve you well later later down the line in math okay so when should you use a calculator well this is something that you should really try to get guidance uh, with from your teacher okay now your teacher should probably in your class say, well, here, you know, I'd like you to have a particular type of calculator, um, you know, for this course. So get some guidelines because here's the thing. If you're going in and taking a test, all right, and you could have your handheld calculator, they're likely not going to let you use your cell phone calculator. They're definitely probably not going to let you go online and use an online calculator. So know from your teacher kind of like what type of calculator you can use. Now, we're not, we are talking about algebra calculators here. So you may not be able to use any type of algebra, algebra calculator okay, on your, on your exam or quizzes. So again, it goes back to the practice thing. You want to be smart. Okay? You want to make sure you can do the problems um, that you know, your teacher your, uh, is stating that's going to be on a test or quiz. So if you're not quite sure, simply just ask them, raise your hand, say, hey, can, you know, what's the guideline on, on calculators, uh, etc. But again, this should have been pretty, pretty clear. Now, when you should use them, okay, even if you got, uh, your teacher says, no, you can't use an algebra calculator or test. Again, I think if you're kind of studying or maybe doing your homework, studying for a test and using it as a support tool, just to double check some answers and whatnot, I think that's perfectly uh, okay. Okay, again, it's a, it's a tool. It's a support tool for you to be learning algebra without the assistance of a calculator. Um, now, I will say this uh, too, um, as you know, nice as algebra calculators are, they do have their limitations. There's some things, and of course, there could be some very, very advanced algebra calculators out there, but there are things out there that probably the calculator, a calculator is going to be difficult to program in order to get the answer uh, to. Okay, various different type of uh, scenarios, etc. I don't want to get into because there's so many uh, facets of algebra, but when we're talking about solving equations or an inequality or graphing lines or multiplying matrices or solving a quadratic equation, yes, a calculator can definitely help you out because it's kind of plug and chug. You just plug in the values and you got your variables there and you kind of go. But conceptually to be able to, you know, um, answer questions that are a little bit more, you know, abstract about what's going on here, whatnot, a calculator is not going to be able to help you. Okay. So again, when to use it, these type of problems that are a little bit more you know, uh, based uh, or directed towards getting solving a, a sol for a particular solution or graphing a line, those type of things, it's probably really, really, really going to get the most help from an algebra calculator. Okay, so let's talk about my last th uh, item here, and that's how. Well, I can tell you right now, this is a huge thing. 
even with a regular calculator, okay, a lot of students don't know how to even use their basic scientific calculator. Because remember, a calculator is just, again, a tool. What you plug into it, if you, if you type into your calculator, uh, you know, whatever, da 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 da, you're, if you don't do this correctly, if you don't plug in the steps correctly in your, your calculator, you're going to get the wrong answer. So again, you need to understand the math to be able to talk to your cal calculator uh, um, appropriately. So let me give you an example here. Let's say I was trying to figure out with uh, 2 to the, uh, let's see here, let's make it more interesting, uh, 16 to the 2 thirds power. Okay, now this is an algebra, but I'm going to give you a good example here, okay? So 16 to the 2 thirds power. Now, if you were, you know, in an algebra course, um, you would be okay. You, you would be able to simplify this using radicals, uh, and then you can kind of, you know, go from there and kind of do the, the work. But let's say you wanted to kind of get an answer for it, and you went into your calculator. You said, okay, I want to go ahead and go 16 to the 2 thirds power. Now, Again, this is I'm just talking about calculator mistakes, and when you're using um, an algebra calculator, it gets that much worse. Okay, so in terms of not knowing what you're doing, you're going to get a wrong answer. You remember that the calculator is always going to give you some answer, but it could be wrong. So a lot of times the students will go, okay, let's see, this is 16. Now I got to take this to a power, right? So if I have two cubed, in most calculators you have a button that's like this, two to the third power, what we call a little caret. Uh, another button might be like this, uh, x to the y to the third, or 2 to the y to the x. Usually it's one of these buttons that expresses a power or an exponent. So here you want the exponent 2 thirds. So you might go, okay, that's 16 to the uh, 2 divided by 3 power, okay? You see what I did here? So I'm going to go, you're, you're going to say, okay, 16 to 2 thirds power, you'll, you go, you type into your calculator 16 and you hit the little button here, which is for the exponent, and you plug in 2 thirds, okay? So what's the matter with that? You're thinking that you're going to get the right answer. You hit enter and you get some number. Well, what this, your calculator is interpreting this right here, it's thinking this, that's a 16 squared divided by 3. Your calculator is looking at it like this, 16 squared divided by 3, and you're going to get the wrong answer because you don't realize that you really need to put this in grouping symbols, all right, to get what you really want, which is this, not this. So this is just one of the main, uh, major, um, well, there's so many examples of students using their calculator to try to to um, get an answer, and then they, you know, the, because they don't understand the math behind it, it's, you know, they're they're getting the wrong answer. So again, just because you have an algebra calculator, and you're able to do things, and you're like, okay, look, I'm getting a, right, you know, I'm getting something out of it, doesn't mean that it's correct. So you got to be very, very cautious here uh, when using algebra calculators. Again, there are great tools, and there's different type of algebra calculators. So, you know, as long as you understand uh, the risk and some kind of like common guidance on when to use them and how to use them, then you'll be good to go. All right, so I didn't uh, intend to make this video too long, but in this day and age with, uh, with technology and, and mathematics, you really do have to uh, be aware of your limitations of uh, how to use any technology in terms of learning math. So again, Hopefully you'll uh, uh, consider subscribing to our channel if you're in need of uh, mathematics. Got all types of math level, middle, high school math, and beyond. Again, I'm going to leave a link um, in the description of this video to my full math learning program. Again, super comprehensive stuff, way more than what I do on YouTube, so hopefully you'll check that out. If you enjoyed this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave us some feedback. Uh, what's been your experience with uh, algebra calculators? Do you like them? Are you doing well with them? Does your teacher let you use them, um, are they working for you, you know, um, uh, any kind of feedback would be good for feedback, but again, from a teacher's perspective, what I'm telling you here, probably most teachers, um, almost, uh, you know, 90% of, or 99% of other teachers feel like I do, okay, so you, you, you need to be able to work with technology, you need to understand technology and calculators are an important part of learning math for sure. You just got to be careful with them. Okay, with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. I wish you all the best in math and have a great day.